Hello, it's Domini. So I'm back uh, after having shown you the album uh, for uh, the little boy Luke with the That's My Boy uh, um, 12 by 12 sheets that I have made the Gateful Folio. So I told you I would be back with the little, uh, or the I should say the Big Sisters album with the same pattern, the folio, uh, the Gateful Folio as well. So I used Sweet and Sassy. So I had the 12 by uh, 6 by 6. I used only a couple sheets. Well, maybe a little bit more, but not much. I still have a lot for another project. And also, I use the 12x12. 12 12. But the, I have to tell you that the 6x6s six sixes are... Some papers are the same, some, some are different. Because of all the papers, the all the sheets, they have the, the cards. There are so many. As you can see, there's this one, there's this one, and there's another one that I have finished, the whole thing, and this one here. So they didn't do that, so they did other stuff instead, which is very nice. So it's nice to have a little... Uh, extra uh, smaller sheets like this one I really like this one so anyway so I use one sheet of each uh, maybe not quite maybe I did one sheet of each of these so I'll have a, a lot for another project so there it is that's what it is so same thing so with the plate here but this time I was careful because the other one I had made my big pouch just just the the width of the page when I put it when I uh, glued it on so it kind of made the whole album forcing outwards so it would it was hard to get too f too close together so I had to use the big magnets the bigger ones that I ha I bought at uh, Home Depot but this one I, I was careful to have all my my pages a little bit smaller so that it's easy to f to close there's no tension outwards so that I could use my magnets, but I had to to use three here and three here, so that's twelve magnets just in this one. That's a lot of magnets, and you know how how expensive they are. So, anyways, so here I use a feather, a little bouquet of flowers, a couple of pearls, and here a little bow. I made this cross stitch here with her name and a few like little heart and flower and borders, a little puffy uh, sticker, a little. Um, Butterfly, and I have this cute little bling here that is so cute that I bought at my dollar store in Canada. So, yeah, so I'm really happy about this how it turned out. And here, the, the cross which I had to mount on a piece of uh, cardstock that is contrasting a little bit, otherwise, it would have been mixed with all the flowers and we wouldn't have seen it. So, I had to make something like this. And I use a little, um, uh, what's the name, uh, Fisker punch corner punch with this little fan. fan to see here and also I have used uh, fabric on the spines and a piece of lace and this is the back so as you know this kind of album the way it works is that this is an idea from Frances from uh, your book of memories I have to say because uh, she inspired me a lot I just make it made it a little bit bigger with more flaps so you have this plate here that is magnetized you just remove it and then the book opens as you can see so it opens this way so first of all, uh, you have the two spines, not spines, I mean the two cover front cover here, where you have those little flaps. So again, like I did with the uh, little boy's book, I had made my spine a little bit bigger than uh, the uh, original book, so it, <laughs> it's even bigger than before. So I had to kind of fill this gap here, there was a big gap here between this and this. So I made the accordion here, accordion booklet if I can call it. So here you have a little card in this pocket. It goes like this pocket here. Photo map, you can journal on that. And then here you open like this. So pocket here. Yeah. I didn't want to put too much too many pockets because it would have had added up it would have added um, too much bulk here and that would be too much. So I want I still want my book to close. <laughs> I don't want to have any problems and then you still have to add the photos but as you can see it's there's a lot of room so for sure a lot of room for the photos and behind I mean okay this we open this is the album the, itself so um, it's part of the album it's the flap that kind of goes on this uh, side and here I have made those two tags same here and on the other side we have the two tags as well the same two tags so it's a pocket that I made here. So we have pocket here, pocket here, few little things. So here I have the big from the uh, 12 by 12 big uh, little word 
sheet I want to show you because they're really fun to work with. Like this. I think there's two of them. Maybe not. So I had the big ones for making some pockets or decorating a little bit, but sometimes I needed small ones, so I'm re I was really happy that I had bought the 12 by 12, uh, 6 by 6 that has the small ones. So it's very important to have both of them. I think it's it makes the whole project much easier to embellish. So that's the first side. I'll go to the other side right now. So here we have a waterfall like this with a magnet. And this is a small little wording uh, tag with, that I um, popped with a piece of chipboard underneath. So here you have all those cards. I made a waterfall. And here you have a little tuck spot. That's what, that was a card too, but it was, it was nothing here. It was the same as this. So it was a big card with just a circle. So I said, oh, I don't need to have it that big. So I cut, I removed a little bit here and I rounded this, the corners. And here opens. So I have this little card I made. And I, uh, this is some uh, and a page that had, you have all those stripes of uh, words again. So I used just this one here. It was uh, Beautiful Friends, but I removed the, the, the S because it was too big. And I made it a pocket and I put a couple of the uh, yellow cards I had, which didn't match much anywhere else. So I put it here in this pocket. And here. This is a pocket as well. Just put a little something in there. It has to be long though, otherwise it will still lose it in, inside. And I put this one to match this one because it didn't match much with the other cards or papers. And again, you have the same cards in the back. Okay, now the center. So the center, as you can see, has got two sections. I shouldn't say that because I wanted to, uh, I'm kind of spoiling the surprise for those who haven't seen this uh, album before. So here I had uh, the six, the four by six cards. The only six they had, five of them were uh, portrait and one of them was uh, landscape. So I had to make my waterfall sideways. When I have the uh, portrait cards, that's what I do. I do the sideways. So they can do a lot of journal here, all of them. So they made them all with the lines, which I like because otherwise you have nice pattern. You cannot write anything on it. And there's, you don't want to cover it with a photo, so you get to lose the, the surface to write. So i rather have a photo here and then write on the, on the card. And here you can tuck a few. I matted this one so it would be stiffer. And this one I, uh, I popped on a piece of chipboard. So I only have five, unfortunately. But I think it's cute anyways. So that's that one. And then you open this. Here I made the waterfall cascade. I have six cards on this one. This one catches here. I should have made that a little bit longer. It's okay. Once you're in there, it goes back. And I made a a liner with it, and or on page pocket. I made this large card. Two big photos here, and then photos here. They can tuck something. No, they cannot. Here they can tuck something in there. So there's a like at least four photos there. I can go large photos here. I really like making the liners like the on-page pockets. When I make regular albums where I have I don't have two spines, where I have room that it can expand, it doesn't matter because it'll just close with a bow, then I like making the on-page pockets on each in every one of my pages. So two photos here, this is you can tuck underneath and opens again here. So here I use more of the reds because it was quite a bit, especially with the um, with the the six by six they had this card and they had this one here which I really liked so I kept the whole thing because six uh, finishes here but they had this extra they had printed the flowers and this is the part that we usually remove but I just left it there and then show that it was on purpose that I wanted to have that with a little string so so this one goes there um, this one would go there I think. I'm gonna put this one here okay so this one here is in a pocket. Here you have those three little cards in the pocket. And the thing you can do is that those are not only pockets, they are also flaps. So you can do extra photos or journaling. This one has got a magnet because uh, it doesn't have anything, any card to hold it uh, closed. So uh, you can do that and then put more cards in there. And there's a little tuck spot right here. 
So after I close those, then you put those back in there. And you have to be careful to grab the whole pocket, not just the flap. And this goes underneath here. Nice mix of colors. And here, as I showed you, so after I had, uh, I noticed after I had put that there that all those uh, little uh, emojis are either surprised or sad or mad or <laughs> nothing positive there. So I decided to, uh, to put this card, life is tough, but you are too. Sometimes it's a sad day. And then hello weekend because we need that because it's been a hard week <laughs> so we need the weekend so that's why I put this one there I thought it was cute so after you close that then you open again for this next section so here you have the talk spot here. here you have the big pouch I didn't put anything in there but um, you can put uh, a lot of stuff it doesn't have to be flat like photos because it can go it can expand quite a bit as you can see. I wouldn't go like this big, but this do, could still do that, but I would go maybe not more than that. Put stuff in so that there's room so that the, the, the album closes. So a lot of room there. And then here we have a diagonal, double diagonal pockets. So and I like the mix of colors. So I put these, uh, this is a regular card. This is a little booklet. And this is another card that is vertical. So, and then this is a little wording, that, this one too, from the paper collection. Put this one first. And then this opens again. So you have a large photo, you can do journaling here. On this, uh, in the center here, you have this six envelope file where you can put stuff in there. And behind it, there's a card which I had forgotten to put on in the ba uh, baby boys, uh, not baby, but little boys book. But here I forgot, I did remember. There's a pocket here. Again, the little blings. I put the, all the blings where it wouldn't um, add bulk to the book because I didn't want to add any anything because I wanted it to close because just the two magnets, so we need to, to close. And here you open again. So you have a little journaling spot here if you want to. More here, photo here, whatever. Another photo here, photo map here, journaling, and then a pocket here, another word here. So that's the end of it. So I was really, really happy to make this one. It took me a little less time than uh, making the, the one with That's My Boys paper, paper collection because I kind of struggled with the magnets on the in the plate on the front cover and also with the file I had a little bit of problems there. But other, other than that, everything is good. Happy, happy. I hope that the lady's going to be happy. She's going to get the books, two books today. So, and she can't wait to see them. So, <laughs> I can't wait to see uh, how she, uh, what she thinks about them. So, that's it. So, if you like this uh, album, you can click on the little thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can do so right now. We have more little tutorials, smaller, smaller one tutorials because uh, it takes forever to upload so I decided to to go uh, more like uh, easy projects and a lot of share videos so stick around and I'll, don't forget to click on that little bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video coming in to my channel so thank you for visiting my, visiting my channel and until next time happy scrapping bye bye thank you for watching